Hey, Michael Kerr here. There's a reason why people call me the Workplace Energizer and why I'm known as a ridiculously enthusiastic, passionate advocate for inspiring workplace cultures. And it's simply because, well, your workplace culture is your number one competitive advantage. It's your number one competitive advantage that you can control. There's somebody down the road here who maybe can pay your employees a little bit more than what you're paying. Down here in this direction, there might be somebody who can undercut you on price. You're never going to win that game. It's not just about the money. Your culture truly is your number one competitive advantage that you control because it impacts absolutely every aspect of your organization. When I've interviewed inspiring leaders from all over the world, one question I always ask them, what's been more important to your success, your culture or your strategy? 98% have said it's our culture. Culture is absolutely everything. It is how we have grown our business so successfully. It is why we are so successful. It is because we have intentionally built a rocking great culture. So I want to remind you of 30 reasons why culture matters. Let's go. Number one, when you build a rocking great culture, you will attract more employees. In fact, you'll become the hunted instead of having to hunt for new employees. Number two, not only will you attract more employees, you'll attract the right employees for you. Number three, the stronger your culture is, the more defined your culture is, the easier it will become for new employees to quickly live your workplace culture values out loud. Number four, with a stronger culture, you'll have lower employee absenteeism rates. Number five, you'll have far lower employee presenteeism rates. Presenteeism is far more costly than absenteeism. Presenteeism is when employees show up at work, but not necessarily to work. Number six, you'll have lower employee turnover rates. In fact, you'll be able to convert even your long-term employees into truly loyal employees. And there's a difference between those two things. Number seven, you'll have more engaged employees. More engaged employees means higher engagement scores, which translates into all sorts of benefits within your organization. Number eight, related to that, you'll have happier employees. And happier employees, as the old saying goes, leads to happier customers. Number nine, when you have a positive rocking culture, you'll have more of this. Oh yeah, you'll have more fun, you'll have more humor in the workplace. It's an organic outgrowth, an organic byproduct of a rocking great positive workplace culture. Number 10, a more positive inspiring workplace culture will of course mean less stress in the workplace. Number 12, related to less stress, you'll have lower costs associated with health and wellness. Number 13, positive rocking great cultures score better when it comes to resiliency. You'll be able to bounce back from setbacks way faster. Number 14, higher levels of trust. Trust is what I would call one of those overarching keystone values that affects so much within an organization. Number 15, there are studies that show that positive workplace cultures lead to safer workplace cultures. Number 16, you'll have more open and honest communication and communication is everything and everything is communication. Number 17, you'll have better, healthier, more positive positive meetings, more collaborative meetings, because meetings reflect your culture. Number 18, it will become easier for your frontline employees to speak truth to power. It will be easier for your frontline employees to raise important issues, to speak up and speak out when they see a serious issue at work. Number 19, you'll have fewer people working in those dreaded silos where they aren't cooperating with people in other departments, and far better collaboration between team members and between teams. Number 20, a more positive workplace culture will fuel greater creativity, which will fuel more innovation at work. Number 21, not only will you get more ideas with more creativity, you'll have a far better chance of those ideas being turned into action and succeeding. Number 22, with a healthier, more positive workplace culture, you'll have a much healthier, more positive response to failure when it happens, when some of those great ideas don't succeed the way you hoped they did. Number 23, it'll be easier to develop, to nurture the next generation of leaders. Number 24, it'll become easier to live your brand out loud. Number 25, you'll have greater street cred within your community. People will talk about you. You'll be known as that great rocking place to work. Number 26, it'll help you attract new customers. Number 27, it will help you retain 
retain your customers and turn even your lifelong customers into truly loyal customers. And there's a difference between those two things. 28, overall productivity will rise. Look at the list I just gave you. Of course productivity is going to increase when you have a rocking great culture. Number 29, that much coveted bottom line will increase. I used to think the bottom line was that little underwear line you'd see on people's bums. Evidently not. It's a whole financial thing. And we know that healthier, more rocking workplace cultures leads to a healthier financial bottom line. And number 30, and I truly do believe this, when you create a more positive, more respectful, more collaborative, more inspiring workplace culture, a service first culture, you can't help but have an impact on people's lives, on the families of your employees, on their children, on your community. There's a downstream impact to creating a rocking great workplace culture. It may sound corny to say this, but when you create a rocking great workplace culture, you are helping to contribute to a better world starting in your backyard. Now that's quite the list. And yet, you know what? I've probably missed a few things. So if you think I've missed something, please leave a comment in the comment box. Why does culture matter? Why does culture matter to you? Please share your thoughts below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, Inspiring Workplaces, I would invite you to join our growing community as we talk about workplace cultures that truly do rock.